Hey there, Merry Christmas to you. I hope you are being blessed as you celebrate Christ's birth today. And uh, so hopefully you're able to connect with family and friends one way or the other. And then and, uh, maybe, maybe you're just doing some special things this week um, to celebrate Christ and enjoy the blessings he's given you. So I hope it's great. Uh, recently, there's been a, a car commercial where a lady, um, <clears throat> she drives up to her driveway, she's coming home, and she gets into the house, and as soon as she walks in the house, she sees all this chaos going on in the house. Now, there's pets, there's kids playing, there's a drone flying, there's the husband playing with the kids and stuff, and they're all just having a blast, but it's kind of chaotic. And so she spins around, goes back out the door, and goes into her nice car for some peace, <laughs> for some rest. Maybe... Uh, you've had some of that lately, where it's just a little chaotic, a little extra busy, and you need some peace. Some of you have had it easy as you get ready for Christmas. It's it's not that much extra to do. Maybe someone else in the family does all the things. And some of you have been pretty swamped, maybe. And uh, even with the COVID, it changes things. And so some of you just need a little peace and quiet, a little rest. You know, you watch kids or grandkids open their presents with a frenzy, a chaos, almost like the Tasmanian devil. And they're, they're all excited. Uh, but then quickly it's over. So after the food, after the presents, what then? What then? You know, Christmas evening for some is a time to slow back down. Maybe for some of you it's going to be a busy day. So maybe this weekend you will have a chance to have a little more peace and quiet from all the busyness of all the things going on in your life. You know, we may ask ourselves, is that peace enough? We're at the end of 2020, finally. And um, people are looking forward to a year that is hopefully better than the one we've had, you know. 2021. Will 2021 bring us peace? Jesus said in John 14, 27, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. So don't let your hearts be troubled. Don't be afraid. And Jesus, he gives a peace that is real and satisfying. Isaiah, the prophet, said of Jesus in Isaiah 9, verses 6 and 7, that he would be called the Prince of Peace. And his government or his kingdom will have peace without ending. That's pretty powerful and a big statement for anyone to say. And it's a prophecy that will be true about Jesus and his kingdom. In John 16, verse 33, Jesus also says, I have told you these things. If you look at the previous chapters, he's told them a lot of things. His disciples, he said, I've told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world, you will have trouble. Jesus said it flat out. You will. We know that. But take heart, he said. I have overcome the world. I have overcome the world. So the world's going crazy, whether we're talking about the big things in the world or the little things, you know, that maybe are mundane and bog us every day. While the world's going crazy, we want to remember to keep our cool. Not keep our cool by thinking cool um, or just acting like everything's cool, but by really trusting God, trusting Him. He is the most sane individual in the universe. He's got this. The Bible promises that Jesus is going to return to the world one day again. And when he does, he will fix this old world. He will conquer the devil and death. And all the nations and all the people will bow to him, the true best king. He will set up a new heaven and a new earth. He'll make his kingdom with righteousness and peace and joy and life as it was intended to be. No matter how crazy things get now, don't be afraid. And don't worry. Don't let these things hold you down. God's Son, Jesus, reminds us to not lose our cool. We can have peace by trusting in Him. Because guess what? He's already conquered everything. He's already conquered it. Whatever you're going through is going to be like short term compared to what God has in store for you long term. It'll be nothing compared to what, compared to what God has for you. So Merry Christmas to you. May you indeed have the peace of Jesus Christ.